Hi, this is Millie Kay, and it's Sunday, October 15th, 2017. And what I'm doing with this video is I took some video footage down at the river today, and I'm narrating over it. So you're seeing a video inside of a video, and that's why you'll see some, um, some things down at the bottom of the screen. So... This here is in this view is the Feather River today and the releases that are coming out of Oroville, the river releases, are about 2,400 cubic feet per second and that's down from about 7,000 they had been running for quite a while and then they had uh, brought that down to where it is now. And right now, the Hyatt Power Plant is releasing about uh, oh, 3,800 cubic feet per second through, through the power plant. So they're keeping some of it up in Oroville. And we're just getting the 2,400 cubic feet per second. And this view is looking upstream towards Oroville. You can see all the vegetation that's grown up over the summer and if you've watched my previous videos you've seen the river levels fluctuate uh, from the high during the spillway incident and after and and then um, it's gone down quite a bit from uh, even a couple of months ago and that's how long they've been working on the slurry wall for the levee is a couple of months and that's why I haven't been down to the river this is the first chance that I got I was driving by today and noticed that the uh, the barricade was down up on the levee and so I drove in and and this is what I found and this is looking downstream as the river flows to Sacramento. And of course, you've seen other videos. Uh, you've seen water up on these trees. This is some of the equipment that they're using to put that slurry wall in. And a little ways down from here is the end of the slurry wall. It's a 2.9 mile section of levee that they're putting the slurry wall in. And today was about temperature wise in the low 80s. And this footage was taken around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was a nice day. And then as I proceed, you'll see the this piece of equipment. I don't know the name of the equipment. Many of my viewers will know. And a lot of you may have operated equipment like this. But I know it's the one that uh, scoops in uh, trenches in the middle of the levee to, to make that trench. And when you see the scooper on it, uh, you can see it's kind of monster looking. It's kind of weird just seeing the equipment all still, not moving. So there's the scooper. In the background you can see the the dirt that's been removed from the inside of the levee.
And then as it goes around to the right, you'll also see the, the a good shot of all the dirt that came out. And then that's the road that leads down over the levee from town. And this is the equipment yard. I know I'm moving the camera a little fast. I apologize for that. Hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. Inside that equipment yard, there's a place that is a pit where they apparently mix the slurry. And right now, the level of the reservoir, reservoir up in Oroville is about 701 feet in elevation. And as I said, the power plant output is about 3,900, 30, between 38 and 3,900 cubic feet per second. River releases at 2,400. And this is in Yuba City, 30 miles downstream of the Oroville Dam. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but the deadline uh, or the time frame for completing this work is uh, the end of October or the, the 1st of November in time for rainy season. So I hope that you will like, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate your views. And I'll see you later.